Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you another coding model, but this time from IBM. IBM has come up with this Grey Knight series of decoder only code models for code generative tasks. And that is very helpful in fixing bugs, explaining code and documenting code. It has been trained with code written in 116 programming languages. I have already covered a Grey Knight series of model few months back. But this model is a new improved one with lot of punches packed in it and we will also be installing it locally on our windows system and we will try it out on various benchmarks coming back to the architecture and other information about this model ibm has also done a comprehensive evaluation of this gray knight code model family on diverse tasks and that demonstrates that their model consistently reached state-of-the-art performance among available open source code LLMs. One of the thing which IBM claims and I have I also think that that is true up to large extent it that it is a all rounder code LLM. Grey Knight code models have achieved competitive or a sort of performance on different kinds of code related tasks including code generation, explanation, fixing, editing, translation and much much more. They have also demonstrated uh, demonstrated their ability to solve diverse coding tasks. It is quite trustworthy because it is coming from the enterprise IBM and all of their models have been trained on licensed permissible data collected following IBM's AI ethics principle and it has also been guided by IBM's corporate legal team for trustworthy enterprise usage. So if you have some very very stringent compliance requirement, if you have some government regulations and if you want really quality and battle tested um, compliant code LLM, I think you should give this one a go in your enterprise. Also, they have released all of their Grey Knight code models under Apache 2 license. How good is that? I mean, just think where we have come over all these years that where a company like IBM is releasing open source models, amazing stuff. So really hats off to IBM for doing this. Grey Knight code models come in two variants. So they have these base models, which are the base foundational models designed for code related tasks such as code repair, code explanation and code synthesis. And they have then Grey Knight code instruct models, which are the instruction following models fine tuned using a combination of git commits paired with human instructions and open source synthetically generated code instruction data set. And we will be installing this code instruct one. Both base and instruct models are available in various sizes, including 3 billion, 8 billion, 20 billion, and 34 billion. So just because my GPU is only 16 GB VRAM, I think it can sustain 8 billion one, but 20 billion will struggle, and I'll be using a quantized version of it. Let's get it installed, then I will also tell you a bit about its training and data collection towards the end. The tool which I am going to use for this purpose is my trusted LM Studio. Let me make screen a bit bigger. Okay. So launch LM Studio and then simply type Grey Knight. Press enter and you will see that some people have already done some of the quantization. And I have already downloaded this um, 8 billion one from I think I downloaded this one or this one. I'll show you quickly. Maybe I will show you here in the folder again. So this is a Grey Knight model I have downloaded from Yorkie H10. The size is under just 5 gig. I mean, just a suggestion for IBM. Maybe if they could also release the quads. That will be awesome. Let's click on these three dots. Let's load the model from the middle. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, so it is giving us some error that I think it is unable to load on my this memory so let me try to load it uh, maybe what i will do i will try to download a lesser quad and see if that works i have tried it out with different quads but it seems that someone has opened this issue with llama.cpp because it is still not being uh, it is not still not supporting ibm gray knight but that is fine instead of waiting for lm studio to get up to speed what we will do, we will go to Linux and try to get it installed there. So let me spin up my Linux um, 
shell and then we will try to get it installed there so this is my linux terminal where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 again i have one gpu card of around 16 gp vram and my memory is 32 gb let me clear my screen let's also upgrade the transformers should be already upgraded but let's wait for it let's clear the screen let me launch my python interpreter let's import the torch which is pytorch and let's import the auto tokenizer and other stuff that is done because i have gpu so i am going to specify my device as cuda let's give the model path because of my space issue i'm just going to go with 3 billion you can replace it with 8 billion or whatever size you would like let's get the tokenizer for it that is done that is good let's get the model hopefully transformer supports it okay so it says there is no module i know so that is fine let's quickly install it so pip install inops let's wait for it and we are going to that is done let's clear the screen let's give the python interpreter again let's import the torch and then get our transformers let's set up the device let's get the model path our tokenizer again and then i'm just going to get the model so let me run it and this time it is working fine there are two shards of it i think each of them is around five gig so let's wait for it to finish and make sure that if you are follow following along you have this much space on your hard disk so let's wait for this one to finish and then we will proceed further model is almost downloaded should be done any minute now so it is loaded and now it is loading it onto our gpu all the shards all done let's evaluate the model and then yep that is fine it is just telling us that how many layers are there self retention and you can see that this is all the information about layers and stuff let's give it a prompt i'm just asking it that uh, write a code to find the maximum value in a list of numbers that is done let's get the tokenizer to tokenize it it is done let's also tokenize the test uh, the text with the help of tokenizer and pt we are using pytorch for it let's transfer all the tokens to the device i'm just going to use this for loop in this python interpreter sorry i just need to put i in front of it there you go that looks much better let's generate the output that is why i was trying to use the windows first so that it is a bit easier to get the output but that is fine at least we are running the full model now output is done by the model let's decode the output and now let's print it out there you go so you see the question was write a code to find the maximum value in a list of numbers and answer is that it has given us a python code and you look at the code and towards the end it has also given us the synopsis so you can see the quality and compactness of the model how good that is and if you have noticed i haven't specified any language here so it has produced by default in python let's try to ask it a question in the javascript so now i am asking it create a javascript function that checks, checks if a number is even or odd let me pass it quickly through all the pipeline so you see as i passed it through the pipeline it has produced again a really cool answer in javascript this time and it has named the function and then um, the code looks really good okay so let me ask it 
one more question where I'm asking it to identify a bug and then also repair the bug in this Ruby method. And then I have given it a simple function so that is done. Let me pass it through the pipeline quickly. There you go. So you see it has now produced a corrected code where it has also described very compactly and concisely what was the issue. And then we have our fixed code at the top. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.